There's no doubt that riding a motorcycle can provide a huge adrenaline rush or thrill, but can it actually also be good for your mental health? Of course, riders know the answer to this already. As the old saying goes, you never see a motorcycle parked outside a psychiatrist's office. Spending time on a motorbike is a solitary exercise, even if you're riding in a group. It gives us time to gather our thoughts and switch off from our troubles and anxieties, just through concentrating on the riding. It's a therapy of sorts. But is there any actual science behind these theories? Well, as this is Mental Health Awareness Week, I thought I'd look into it a little bit deeper. Actually, there is. The Semmel Institute of Neuroscience and Human Behaviour at UCLA made a study a few years ago where they took 50 experienced motorcycle riders and got them to follow a 20 mile semi-rural route. They asked them first to do it in their cars and then to do exactly the same route in their motorcycles. Using EEGs and various other lab tests they recorded the results and this is what they found. They discovered that riding a motorcycle increases alertness much in the same way that receiving a dose of caffeine would do. They recorded that on average heart rates rose by 11% and adrenaline by up to 27% and that's very much in keeping with the kind of effects that you would get if you're taking light exercise. They also saw the level of the stress hormone cortisol drop by over 28% and they found that people riding motorcycles recovered from distractions much quicker than they did when they were driving their car. So the benefits that we feel during and after a ride bring a more positive outlook and more cognitive function whilst reducing stress. Riding, therefore, is scientifically proven to be good for your mental well-being. The bike should use the phrase, motorcycles saved my life on some of their merchandise, and I can attest to that statement. I have suffered bouts of depression since my early teens, sometimes dropping me to very low and dark places, and on one occasion, almost to the end. I don't know what instigated my issues. It could be in my genes as I remember seeing my mother struggle for years when I was a kid. It may well have been brought on or exacerbated when I was remorselessly bullied at school, but it has always been a part of my life. It's only in the last few years that the subject has become less taboo and more people are talking about it that I've been able to frame my thoughts and be able to deal with them. Which is why I wanted to make this video. If more people, particularly young people, can get the support that they need and know that they don't have to battle this alone, that's got to be a good thing. Which brings me on to the t-shirt I'm wearing and the campaign behind it. So Happy in Town is a blog that was started in 2016 by Susie Weaver and it was aimed initially at parents who, as well as savouring the joys of parenthood, were also aware that sometimes things were a little bit shit. In 2019, Susie launched the t-shirt campaign with the message, it's okay to feel shit, but it's more okay if you don't feel alone. The message was predominantly aimed at young people, but it does apply and resonate with all ages. 100% of the profits from the sale of the t-shirts went to the Young Minds charity, and in the initial campaign, Susie raised over £7,000. Celebrities such as Jodie Kidd, Jason Leddard, Simon Pegg, Nell McAndrew, Sean Ryder, Ray Winstone and the lovely Susie Perry have all got involved with the campaign. And as of a couple of weeks ago, the amount raised had reached £27,000. And I think that together with my fantastic subscribers, we can help Susie push this over £30,000. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can go to buy one of the t-shirts to support the Young Minds charity. And I'll leave a link to their website as well so that you can go away and have a look and see how they do exactly what they do. We have the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride coming up as well. And obviously a large percentage of the money raised through that event goes to mental health charities. And I'm aware that a lot of my viewers will be supporting and taking part in that event. On a personal note, it's been quite hard to make this being as open as I have given the public nature of this video. But I discovered that talking to people about your fears, worries, insecurities and thoughts 
really does help. Thankfully, I'm lucky that I have a wonderful wife and a fantastic family who have supported me. If we together can bring that awareness and openness to everybody, but particularly to the younger generation, let's do it.